What's going on guys? We are back. And last time I believe we fought Elspeth. So this time we're going to play around with the dodge and burn. And this deck should be relatively solid. What's the... Uh... We were playing it with Garrick's deck, right? If I remember correctly. It's been a little bit. Or just too many other things going on. I, you know, I guess I forget things. Well, let's see. That's not too bad. I can keep that hand. Place first. I can keep that hand. I mean, this deck should actually do relatively decent against the dodge and burn because the creatures are so big, and not to mention the regeneration, so that helps out quite a bit. So, I'm okay with this for now, not to mention that, you know, it may very very well be a bad deck Faden, that must be the guy's name, I was to say it's probably a very bad version of this deck, because it's going to run a kill feed. So, we don't have too much to worry about. Next turn, we'll get out a uh, Leatherback Bayloth and then prey upon it. Search your library for a Force card. I wish this was in Standard. I wish it was in Standard right now. I'd just be able to go and get Shocklands. Perfect. I'll take that. So we can play our dude, we'll leather back Bayloth, and then we can prey upon it. Prey upon, boom, and boom. Cool. I'll take that. Yeah, this deck has a lot of a lot of good things against the dodge and burn. I'd like to play it against the actual dodge and burn because of all the counters, but at the same time, I'd like to see what happens. Attack and see if he's willing to block and then char or something. Nope, does not look like it. Um, yeah, let's get this guy out. Why not? Remand it? Alright, that's fine. And that's why we attacked first before we played the spell. Because then all we had to do is do one damage to him to kill him. Which I did not want him to do. That's fine. I'll take your damage. You start burning my face and I'll be happy. Let's attack again. We'll be good players again and play cards during our second main phase. I do want the Warped out there because of its uh, undying ability. I actually force him to waste two cards on it. I mean, this is nothing like playing the Dodge and Burn that's online. The dodge and Burn that's online is very easy to play. Or this Dodge and Burn is very easy to play. Normal Dodge and Burn is not. Let's... Dealing three damage to each creature. One damage to each creature. Um, screw it. We'll attack with everybody. Why not? Trade one for one. He takes five. Cool. Rampaging Bayloth. No counter. Cool. I'll get a four four. Yeah, I wish to use that ability. Opportunity. Yeah, you draw those four cards because you die next turn. And just like that, nice and easy. Boom. Land. You know what? No, I don't wish to use that ability because I'm just going to kill you. Like, I don't know what you were hoping to draw. Like, you could have done anything else but play Opportunity. Oh well. Let's go to the next game, which is Nissa. Nissa Ravain. I love Nissa. Nissa is my girl. We've got like three or four from three or four of her at the shop, and I just love it. Um. Do, 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 do. Don't have 
have any green creatures with one mana. Probably not. Let's draw a new hand. Nah, that's not bad. We can do that. We can definitely do that. It'll be a very big primal crux once we uh, get it out there. Not to mention the scavenging. Or the uh, predator ooze getting nice and big. And then the ability to rank her, or to rank her and prey upon it. Nissa doesn't have a one or a two drop. Oh, that's, that's awesome for us. You better have a three drop. I was going to say, I'm going to be very upset with you if you do not have a three drop. Predator ooze. Generate another target elf. Lead the stampede. So that's reveal five. Okay. Okay, so you drew three there. That's pretty good. Let's rank her up. Let's attack. I don't think he'll block. He shouldn't. And then we'll pray upon. Now it's a 5 1. It's gonna get real out of control. Okay. That does not seem like the one that you wanted to play there. But okay. That seems more like the one you wanted to play there. Okay. Do I want to play the Beastmaster's Ascension? Start working on getting that thing up? Probably not. Yeah, why not? We got a 5-3 Trampler. We might as well... We're actually, a 6-4 Trampler now. Yeah, I wish to use that ability. Why wouldn't I want to use that ability? And then we'll use the Hunt the Weak next turn. And have it kill the, uh... Tribal Elf that it puts out. The Elf that gives all the other Elves power. Because I'm assuming that that's going to come out. Oh no. We're gonna lead the stampede again. Looking for five more. There we go. Wow. Might have to save it for the Immaculate Magistrate then. Uh, let's attack for seven. So you probably should block it this time. And he's going to tap out to attack or not. Cool, 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 cool. Hunt the hunter. Creature I control, put a plus one, plus one counter on. Fights him. So now he's an eight, now he's a nine, and then he'll be ten. So he's got a double block this turn, or he loses everything. Like, some of the new decks just cannot deal with the ooze. The predatory ooze is ridiculous. Block, block. Put you at one. Did that get two counters? It should have got two counters. Go to the top four. Put all elves into your hand. And then we 
just attack you with him. Once you rank her, I mean, he's just untouchable. Sweet. Well, that was two easy games. Let's uh, go on to the Samurais. So we'll be back in just a moment, guys. <laughs>